So this new series is all about going deep on a really, really small amount of material. Okay, so this is a, a concept, a very simple concept of making rules and moving the hands that I can have fun with for hours. And you're probably gonna hear me screw up some because I'm just kind of going through this. And, and you, you've seen me teach this um, with a very simple groove, with a very uh, a simple upbeat groove like this. And the concept is making rules for we'll start with the right hand, making rules for moving the right hand. So keeping that simple pattern going, but then moving the right hand. So we have this very simple drum beat. We're going to move the hand, and I'm gonna make a rule that every time the hi-hat hits, I'm gonna move it, the right hand hits, I'm gonna move it in between the hi-hat and the high tom So we have two voices. All right, so that's a very simple rule. Right, that's a pretty simple rule, right? Okay, now we can make it harder when we say, okay, I wanna move it to three voices. All of a sudden, it takes three measures for that to loop around. Now we're having to start think a little bit more, and what we do is we start worrying about melodies, okay? And that's, that's kind of what starts happening underneath the groove, and it's challenging, because it creates a polyrhythm. So we're gonna go from this to this. Now look, I can do that all day, it's a lot of fun. We speed it up, three, four. So it loops every three measure. We can do that with four voices. Let's go here, 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 here. And you may be like, Stephen, this is a really simple concept. Ah, therein lies the magic. We want it to be simple so that then we can expound on it and really go deep on it. What if we do five voices? So now it's gonna loop around every five measures. That's kinda, that's a little bit harder, right? We're gonna go here, 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 and then there. Right, so you see how that's a much longer thing, but when we speed it up, it starts to sound pretty cool. Okay, so that starts to be a lot of fun. Now, what we can do is we can make the groove underneath it a little bit harder. Maybe we wanna add some ghost notes so we have a groove more like this. Now let's begin to move that around the kit. Two voices. Three voices. Four voices. Now five voices. Three, four. Oh. 
Okay, so we have the upbeats. What happens if we start to move it? What happens if we're playing an eighth grit, an eighth note groove, and we move the hand on every eighth note? So that kind of starts to get a little bit harder. So we have a groove like this. Now let's move it every eighth note. Move it to two voices. Three voices. Even while I'm doing this, like I'm just kind of like trying to hang on to it because it's very, very different with it laying like that. All right, let's try four voices. And five voices. Some of you may be like, Stephen, I would never use that in a song. No, but the skill we may use, and that's what we're working. We're just kind of going deep on this concept to try to, to, try to uh, flesh out everything we can about this. Now, another thing we can do is we can make a different type of a groove, and let's move the backbeat. Let, let's do that. So let's get a groove like this. Okay, we can do the same simple old boring rule we had before, and it's still gonna be challenging, so let's do two voices first. All right, now let's do three voices. That's like begging to have the, the upbeats on the hi-hats, right? So one and two and three and four and Let's again take that to four voices. Three, four. All right, let's do five voices. I'm gonna use the rim for one of my voices. So it'll go like, uh, let's do this order. Such a random. <laughs> All right, that's what we're gonna do for this. Um, upbeats here. See how it's getting challenging? Now I'm having to start thinking. One, two, three, four. Ho ho! Three, four. Okay, that feels like pure madness when you're playing it, but there's a definite thing happening over here. Like it is the same thing over and over and over. Okay, so we, we're like, okay, Steven, I get it. Move the right hand around. All right, what happens if we make it a rule where the left hand has to move too? So let's do that same groove and let's leave 
the, the ride symbol where it is for now so we can get this motion going over here. So now we've got things moving. Things are moving, oh, both of them's moving. So ghost notes are gonna be over here on the hi-hat and accented notes are on the snare drum. So kind of a Carter Beaufort type of a thing. All right, that's kind of fun. Well, let's start moving the right hand. So two voices here, now move them to two voices here. Now it starts getting challenging. So let's see this. So you pass level one of it. Now let's go to the second level here. We got to do three voices in the right hand. So here, here, and here. Okay, now four voices, here, 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 here. And yes, just as you thought, we're gonna do five voices. So that same, the same seizure type of a thing here, here, there, there, and then there. And we gotta move this to two voices. All right, so that starts, to, well, to me, that starts to be a lot of fun, right? And we can add the hi-hat in there if we wanted to, like, hit the hi-hat instead of the rim, so. Okay, so you see how that messes me up. So I would stop there and I'd be like, okay, I cannot play that. So that's kind of, we just go in layer after layer after layer, and whenever I conquer one layer, it's like, okay, what can I do with the next one? What can I do with the next one? Now, a way that we could actually add some, some uh, uh, spice this up a little bit more, um, stomp the hi-hat on the eighth notes and see if we get any what I call happy little accidents where the hi-hat opens some. Um, and we will because we're hitting the E's and O's. So let's do five notes over here, moving between here, stomping the hi-hat on eighth notes. Let's do that. One and two and three and four and... Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, messed up! Here we go! All right, so you saw all kinds of mess ups there, but that's what we wanna do. We wanna push this very, very simple concept to a point to where things start to break. So we have something, we break it a little bit, we fix it, we break it a little bit, we fix it, all right? Treat each one of these small things that we're gonna work on in these um, lessons like a character in a book. We really, really need to know the character really well, and to do that, you just gotta spend some time with it.